What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be unboxing and trying out the new Zamp ZTEC 2A uh, neck brace. Um, we're going to see if it's worth it for $225 or if you're better off spending money on a name brand one like a Hans or a Simpson. So we're going to unbox it, try it on, and you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this one. Woohoo! All right, so I just received this in the mail from uh, Amazon today. Uh, the reason we ended up getting this is we have a track day we're doing this coming weekend, and that's at Blackhawk Farms, and I want to be extra safe by getting this. Um, also, next year we're planning on uh, doing some wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, so I want to see if uh, if this one's really worth it or not. So I'm going to cut this fresh seal on here. have not even seen it yet. So just came in about an hour ago and just got off work, so check it out. Alright, so that's how it came from Amazon. And here is the box. Designed and assembled in the USA. So um, this is an SFI rated 38.1 also. Alright, so this is the unit. It has adjustable posts and everything there. Um, these do come with blue Loctite. They want you, I did, did watch another review, they want you after you get everything adjusted, take each screw out and throw Loctite in them. So these, this one on the side here, um, pretty much all the hardware they want you to Loctite. So I will show you how to attach these to your helmet and adjust them also. So make sure you do have a helmet that has um, posts on it that are set up for this, otherwise uh, you will not be able to use this properly. Next we'll uh, grab our helmet and we'll see how that fits and show you guys how all this stuff works with the, um, with the helmet mounts and posts and stuff. So we'll take a look at that. Okay y'all, so as far as helmets go, we are running the Race Kit Quip Pro 20. This is a SA2020 rated helmet. It's the newest uh, race clip um, model available. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the clip from the uh, helmet insert and insert it into the hole right here. So just want to reiterate, this is how this comes. They come already on here with these parts. So in order to remove this, to be able to install it, you unclick this right here and it slides right off. They do have a little uh, silicone protector on here that just basically keeps the, the bolt um, attached to this. So next thing we're gonna do, we are gonna take, you can get, actually get rid of this piece here. And then we're gonna go over to our helmet And we are going to take this piece, it's gonna go against our helmet, just like that. And then you are gonna take the, um, the bolt and the washer, both billet aluminum. These are all billet aluminum parts, by the way. And we're gonna just kinda of start that in there, just like that. If I can get it lined up here. There we go. So thread that in. And then you're gonna need a four millimeter Allen. Um, you can either use a Allen key or an Allen socket like what I have. And you're just basically gonna snug these up. Don't go too hard, but you can uh, crank on them pretty good. Don't want them falling out. So that's what it's gonna look like installed. Got your gap there, just like how it's supposed to be. And then we're gonna repeat on the opposite side left side is mounted as well as the right so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna um, basically attach the neck brace to the helmet so you're gonna take your helmet you're gonna hold it up and you're gonna take one of your clips and you're gonna basically just clip it on there it'll latch spin it around do the same thing on the other side and your neck brace is officially attached and from here Depending on what feels comfortable to you, um, you may need to adjust the straps to make them tighter or um, shorter. I will be going through uh, at the end and you know going through and doing adjustments on the, on all that. All right, so we have our neck brace and helmet here. 
Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Uh, if you watch a lot of Formula One, IndyCar, you'll notice they never disconnect their neck brace from the helmet when they're getting it on and off. So what I'm gonna do here is pull my one strap back a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna put my neck brace on. I'm gonna fish my other hand in there and pull it down and then readjust and tighten up my helmet. So putting this on with the helmet is where I first kind of really realized that I don't have the, the shoulder pieces adjusted properly. It doesn't seem to really sit on my shoulder quite right. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to extend this, you know, make it basically wider because it's just kind of doing a dance on my shoulder and it doesn't, uh, doesn't feel like it's gonna really stay there. I feel like it's gonna really move around a lot. So uh, I think that's gonna be probably my first thing I do is basically extend this down, make sure that you um, are making contact all the way down on like to your co collarbone area. Um, but as far as like head and neck movement goes, I think that's probably right where we want that to be. Um, and I can't go far back. So I think as far as the, the, the neck straps concerned here, I think we're probably pretty close. Uh, it's going to be down to the shoulder fitment. So I guess the, the last part of, of this whole unboxing and review is, is it worth it? Um, at the moment, I'm going to say yes. We're gonna stop it right there. Um, actually, I had to redact this statement and you will see why in just a few moments here. Okay, y'all, um, we are sitting here in a 2021 Honda Civic Type R. Um, this is the factory um, seats in this thing. Um, I actually had to redact my statement um, that I had said, and I'm actually re-recording this. I wanted to recommend this, I really did. And it, it might be great for some people, but for me, it just doesn't seem to fit right. No matter what adjustment I do, this thing is just literally sloppy all over. I've tried adjusting the the length of the um, the tethers in the back. I've tried adjusting the angle. Um, I, I've tried adjusting the width. And for me, it just does not seem to, I mean, it just literally floats all over my shoulders no matter what so i don't know if it's my body profile or what but i mean if i'm sitting here and i get into an accident this thing's doing nothing i mean i can literally completely go back and forward it's not working like i said i, I really really wanted to recommend this product and i i shot audio and video of me recommending it until i legit went through every possible scenario with adjusting the stuff, sitting in the car. There's just no way it's gonna fit me. And I'm just a uh, average 5'10", 5'9", 5'10", 180 pound guy. I think it would fit somebody bigger better because I feel like it just doesn't conform down, you know, my chest. I don't have a big chest by any means. I'm, you know, a fairly athletic build. But if you're a bigger guy with less bony or shoulders up here, it probably would fit you just fine. <sighs> yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna break down and spend the uh, 500 and something dollars for the lower end Hans device and send this one back. So yeah, it really does suck. I'm uh, kind of disappointed. Probably not gonna have the haunts by the weekend. So, yeah, uh, this has been an honest review, not paid by anybody. And I want you guys to know firsthand the issue I had with this setup. So, if you could please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one. Woohoo!